Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. Alright, so today we've got something really special that came in. We have our Tesla wall connector glass. Uh, what is the Tesla wall connector glass? Well, let me swing over here and show you guys. There is my Tesla wall connector. So, the glass you can see is this tempered glass they have here. Just make sure the uh, camera zoomed in there. Um, so yeah, so the Tesla makes different colors for these that they just came out with. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove this white one, which I actually really like, and we're gonna replace it with the one that I got over here, which is uh, red. So I'll be able to swap these out um, whenever I feel like it. But we've had this white for about six months. Now let's go ahead and unbox this and get it installed. All right, so let's get this opened up. All right, packages really nicely, so nothing breaks. I'm glad. A little bit of silicone. And this came right before the holidays. I ordered it about a week ago. So today's December 21st. All right, so we've got two screws. Looks like it'll be a really easy install. And nothing else in the box. So it looks like it's just the plate. I don't even know if there's any instructions. It's that easy. Okay, I'll sorry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So you can just see two screws at the bottom and little tab clips there and there it is wow what a beauty look at that I mean Tesla you've outdone yourself it's beautiful this will be a nice addition alright so let's get the screws off of the one over here and let's get this thing replaced Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your breaker and shut down the Tesla box. And then you're just going to want to wait a second and make sure that the, all the energy has been discharged. Then we're going to go ahead and pull the face plate. Uh, I'm sorry, the whole unit's going to come off and then the two screws will be on the back of the face plate. Okay, now that the power's off, you just need to get these Allen wrench screws off. You can see you go. One there, one there. And let me get up top here and show you. One there and one there. Let's get those off. And then the whole unit will come right out. Okay, now that we've got everything off, just gently pull back, just like so. Okay, now you want to take a T10 torque screw, just slide it on, and you're just going to remove the two screws here at the bottom. A little hard to see but they're right there in the corner. There's just two of them. And you can reuse these screws if you want to. The way you don't have to use the ones that they gave. It's up to you. There's one. Two and just make sure they're completely out. Okay, let's see if I can get them to roll out here. There's one. Second one's 
Ben's being a little stubborn. But it's fine. This should just slip off anyway. So just kind of pull down. And just like so, it'll pop right up. Okay. Alright, now let's get the red one on. All right, when sliding on the new one, you can see there's these little tabs here that you want to connect in first and then just lay it right down. Just make sure you angle it just like so, and then you'll lift up and you'll know it should be a nice snug fit right there on the side. No gaps, shouldn't be no gaps. All right, now we'll just flip it over and put the screws back on. And you may want to lay something down just so you don't scratch the glass. So I'll put like a little towel over it when I, when I turn it over. Okay, okay let's just flip this over, be nice and gentle so it doesn't come out. And I'm going to go ahead and just reuse the same screws. Make sure both are threaded before you tighten. Okay. Both sides are nice and threaded. We'll go ahead and tighten. Okay, both sides are nice. Okay. All right, nice and tight. Let's take a look. It's beautiful. I really like these face plates. I might even buy another color so I can switch them around just with the season. Okay, let's get it uh, reinstalled and put the last remaining four screws, the ones two on top, two on the bottom, and we're all done. There it is. Looks good, looks amazing. So let's go ahead and just. Another breaker on, make sure everything's good. We got a green light. The light is nice and green. We've got our charging cable. Let's just come right here. Plug in. See if we get green. Green, and we are charging. And just like that, we are good to go. Just want to thank everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you can give me a like, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe. That would be really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. That's how you install a Tesla wall plate on a Gen 3 charger. Have a good day.